subscribe and click the bell icon to turn on notifications. We've made the files the instructor uses in this tutorial available for free. Just click the link below in the video details to get these. Hello everyone and welcome back to this course on Word 2019 Advanced. This is still Deb and we are still in section two where we're taking a look at some of those essential skills that you need in Word. Now in this module, I want to move on a little bit and start to talk to you a little bit about finding and replacing formatting. Now you may have used find and replace previously in Word, but it's not just for replacing text. You can also use find and replace to locate specific types of formatting throughout your document and even replace that formatting with something else entirely. Now, just before we get on to that, I just want to briefly remind you of how we utilize the find and replace feature. So what you see on the screen here is I have a Word document open and it's called staff list. And this is a very small, very basic little table that just lists some staff members, their job title, the department they work in and where they're located. Now, this is a very small table. It would probably be quicker for me to maybe go through and manually make the changes I need. But imagine if you have a much larger table or piece of text and you want to find something in that table or text and you want to replace it with something else, it's going to be a lot quicker for you to use the find and replace functionality. So for example, in this document, it might be that I want to change those locations to make them a little bit more concise. So wherever I have the word United Kingdom, I want to change that to UK. And wherever I had the word United States of America, I want to change that to USA. So this would be a perfect scenario for utilizing find and replace. So you'll find your find and replace options on the home ribbon across all the way on the right hand side in the editing group. You can see you have a find and a replace and you'll see there as I hover over I get the screen tip with the keyboard shortcut of control H. So I'm going to utilize that control H to bring up my find and replace dialog box. So essentially what I want to do here is say what I want to find and then say what I want to replace it with. So let's just start out with United Kingdom and I'm going to replace that with UK. I'm going to say replace all. It's made three replacements and you'll now see in the document that that has replaced successfully. Let's do the other one. So we're going to look for United States of America and we're going to replace that with USA and replace all. So very quickly I've been able to make those bulk changes to my document. So a really useful little utility. So that might be how you're used to using find and replace. What I want to show you now is how you can take that on a stage further and find and replace formatting. Now, when it comes to finding and replacing formatting, you need to think about whether it's going to be more efficient for you to utilize find and replace or more efficient for you to do it manually. And there are definitely some scenarios where doing it manually is going to be quicker for you. For example, if you have a document and throughout that document, you have some instances of bold text and you just want to change it all back to normal text. So without the bold applied, it's probably going to be quicker for you just to do a control A on your document and then deselect bold, which is going to put everything back to normal text. So in those kind of situations, it's going to be quicker to do it manually. However, there are times when find and replace can really help you save time by applying formatting changes faster and easier than manual formatting. So let's take a look in this example as to how we can utilize find and replace to replace certain pieces of formatting in our document. So I'm working in the Lorem Ipsum document and what you'll see is if we go through this document, I've made some changes to it. You can see that I now have in blue font, and underlined the word Lorem Ipsum Management Corporation. And I have that fairly frequently throughout the entire document. What you'll also notice is that I have a section just here that's indented very slightly from the rest of the text and is also showing in italics. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna utilize find and replace formatting to make some changes to this document. So let's imagine the scenario. It might be that I've done this document, I've sent it to my manager, 
and he's come back and said to me, it all looks great, but I don't want you to have the words Lorem Ipsum Management Corporation in blue or underlined. I just want them to show in bold. And he's also said to me that he doesn't want the word Lorem Ipsum Management Corporation. He wants it to say Lorem Ipsum Management Corp. Now, because I have this word throughout my document, it's probably going to be easier for me to utilize find and replace formatting to make these required changes. So let's take a look at how we might go about doing this. I'm going to pull up that replace dialog box again. Remember, keyboard shortcut control H. And what you'll immediately notice is that find and replace keeps in it the last search terms that you used. So I'm just going to clear those out. Now, the first thing you need to do here is you need to click on this more button because at the bottom, this is where you're going to find the replace formatting option. And the first thing we need to do is we need to let Word know what it is we're looking for. So in the find what box, I'm looking for the words Lorem Ipsum Management Corporation. But the thing I'm looking for is in blue, it's in bold and it's underlined. So I need to tell Word that I'm also looking for those properties. So I'm going to go down to the format box and I'm going to go to the font option. I want to say that I'm looking for bold text. Font color is blue and the underline style is the solid line. Click on OK. So now in the find what box is looking for the words Lorem Ipsum Management Corporation, bold, underline with a font color of blue. So I've specified exactly what I'm looking for. I can now go in and tell Word what I want to replace it with. So my manager said that he just wants this to be in bold, but the same color as the rest of the text. But he's also said that he wants it to say corp as opposed to corporation. So I'm going to say replace with Lorem Ipsum Management Corp. And again, I'm going to jump in to my formatting options. I'm going to go to font and I'm going to specify the properties that I want to replace. So I just want this to be in bold and I'm going to say font color. I want to be set to automatic. Click on OK. So now you can see all of my properties, what I'm looking for and what I'm replacing it with. If I click on replace all, I can see it's made five replacements. And if we look in the document behind, you can see that now I have Lorem Ipsum Management Corp as opposed to corporation. It's removed the blue font color. It's removed the underline, but it's showing in black in bold, which is exactly what my manager asked for. So pretty simple to replace the formatting. Let's look at one more example. Now I've sent this document back to my manager. I've made the edits that he's asked for, but he's come back again and he said, actually, halfway through the document, we have this paragraph that's slightly indented from the rest and is showing in italics. And what he said to me is he wants to have italics removed and he wants the indentation to be removed so that's in line with the rest of the document. So what I would probably do here is I would make sure that my mouse is clicked at the start of this paragraph where we have that indentation. And I might just want to check how much these paragraphs are indented by. And I can do that by simply jumping up to the home ribbon and launching the paragraph dialog box. And in here, if I look down at the indentation section, I can see that where I'm currently clicked is indented on the left at 0.6 centimeters. So that's useful information for me when I'm trying to find and replace the formatting. So let's cancel out of here and let's do a control H to fire up our find and replace dialog box. Now, again, what you'll see in here is that it will hold in it the last searches that you did. And I want to remove this, so I'm going to just delete out where we have Lorem Ipsum Management Corp, but you'll see that it still holds that formatting underneath. So I need to make sure that I click the no formatting button at the bottom just to get rid of that. And I need to do it for both the find what and replace with. So now I have a clean search. What am I looking for this time? 
Well, I'm not looking for any text specifically because this applies to this whole paragraph that's indented. So I'm going to click in Find What and I'm going to jump straight down to Find Format. And this time I'm searching specifically for text that is indented 0.6 centimeters. So I'm going to go to the Paragraph option. And now I can set what I'm looking for. So my indentation I'm going to set to 0.6 centimeters. That is what I'm looking for and click on OK. Now I can also see that these paragraphs are showing in italics, so I might want to add that in as well, just to really refine what I'm looking for. So I'm going to jump to Format again, and this time we're going to go to Font, and I'm looking for everything that's in italics. So now I'm doing a very specific search for all text that's indented on the left 0.6 centimeters and showing in italic font. And what do I want to replace this with? Well, let's jump down to Formatting, go into Font. I want it just to be regular text and click on OK. Let's go down to Formatting again and into Paragraph. And I don't want there to be any indentation. So essentially, I'm going to set this to zero centimeters. Click on OK. And now I haven't actually defined a piece of text, but I have defined those properties that I'm looking for. So now if I click on Replace All, it's made one replacement, and you'll see now that that entire paragraph has been changed to regular font, and it's also now in line with the rest of the document. So of course, there are lots of different ways that you can utilize this by looking under this format option. So this can be a really great way of very quickly and efficiently replacing certain items in your document that are formatted in a specific way. So that's it for this module. In the next module, we're going to stay on this same train of thought, and I'm going to show you how you can find and replace special characters. So please join me for that. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To get the files the instructor used in this tutorial and follow along, click over there. And click over there to watch more videos on YouTube from Simon Says It.